Hi everyone, my name is Rivka Rosenberg. People call me Rivki. Today I will teach you a very special lesson. The lesson is called At the Park. Let's begin. Can you read, understand, and use Bantu vocabulary words and expressions? Can you engage in creative assignments that include Bantu vocabulary words and expressions? You will be able to do so by the end of this lesson. Stages to learning new vocabulary words. Exposure, we will read a story, learn the vocabulary words, look at the matching pictures. Then we will practice. After that, production, we will engage in writing activities and a review at the end. The new vocabulary words of today. Park, I'm sure everyone knows what a park is. I'm sure you have been to a park. In Israel, there is Park Alumi. There is in Jerusalem many, many parks. Gan Saker is a park. Ride. To ride, you can ride your bike, but when you go to an amusement park, Park Shashwim, you can also go on rides. We will talk about that and we will see several rides too. Activity. What activities do you like to do after school? Do you like to read? Do you like to do sports? That's an activity. Safe. I hope that when you ride your bike, you put on a helmet, for example. I hope that keeps you safe. I hope that when you uh, ride in an amusement park, the roller coaster, you also are very careful to listen to the instructions. That will keep you safe. Let's look at the two meanings of the word ride. Ride can be a verb. For example, in the sentence, we ride on the bus every day to school. I ride my bicycle every Sunday. That's a verb, a poal. Ride can also be a noun. A roller coaster, this is a roller coaster in English. A roller coaster is a ride at the amusement park. At the amusement park, there are many, many rides. I love the roller coaster. It's fun, it's fast. The amusement park, there is one in Tel Aviv. It's called the Luna Park. So a ride as a noun is as in this sentence, a roller coaster is a ride, shashua, at the amusement park, for example. So ride can be either a verb or a noun. Let's try to match the word to its synonym. So we have ride, we have activity, and we have safe. Now, on the other side, we have not dangerous, something to do, and transportation. Can you try for the next minute or two to Connect the word to its synonym. Try and I'll be back very soon. Look at your answers together. So ride is in uh, one, one meaning is transportation, of course. I ride my bike, I ride a bus, you ride a car when you go to school. So transportation. On the other hand, it can also be like a roller coaster. That's a ride in an amusement park. But here it's transportation. Activity is something to do. I like to um, horse, to do horseback riding, to play tennis, that's an activity. Safe. Safe is not dangerous. You have to put on a helmet when you ride a bike to keep you safe. You, you mustn't play with fire, that's not safe. Let's continue. This is an amusement park, amusement park, and this is a water park. I'm sure you have been to one of them. There is a water park, for example, uh, in Shfaim, for, in Israel. In the amusement park, there is the Luna Park, for example. That's a, an amusement park. This is a roller coaster. It's fast. It's fun. And I love water parks. In the summertime, sometimes I go to the water park. There is a famous one in Shfaim that I like a lot. Have you ever visited an amusement park? 
for example, Universal Studios or the Luna Park in Tel Aviv or Disney World. That's an amusement park. Disney World, Disneyland, Euro Disney, that's an amusement park. Which, which amusement park have you been to? Have you been to the Luna Park? I love going to the Luna Park. I go on rides. I buy, uh, candid, uh, I buy all kinds of candy sometimes, popcorn. Amusement park is fun. Have you ever visited a water park? This is a very, very big water park. I don't think it's in Israel. But in Israel, there are many water parks. Have you been to one? Which one have you been to? What is your favorite amusement or water park? Wow, look at this ride. This is fun. What is your favorite amusement park? Do you like uh, Disney World, Disneyland? Uh, what water park activity do you like? Do you like to uh, go down the slide on, in a water park? That's fun. What is your favorite ride? Is it this one? Or is it the roller coaster? Like, where is the roller? Here, this is the roller coaster. Which ride do you like? I like the roller coasters. During your visit to the park, what do you eat and drink? Do you take a sandwich from home? Or do you buy frozen yogurt or a milkshake? What do you eat and drink at the park? Be aware, be ready, and be safe at the amusement and at the water park. So you have to be very careful when you go to a, both an amusement park and a water park. You have to listen to the directions. Be aware of them. Be, open your eyes and be careful. Be aware, be ready. If there is some kind of problem, be ready and be safe. Always listen to instructions. If they tell you to put on your seat belt, for example, for, for these rides, there is like a belt. You have to uh, listen and be safe. Now you have words on the side here. You have ride, park, activities, and safe. And there are sentences with missing words. Let's try to read the words first and then the sentences, and then you will match the words to the sentence. So for example, let me write here numbers. One, two three and four, and here I will write A, B, C, and D. So, sentence number one. Nathaniel likes to go to the water blank. He loves water blank. He is lucky to have a water park near his house, so he can blank his bike there. When he rides his bike, he always wears a helmet, kasda to keep him blank. And the words are ride, park, activities, and safe. Try to match the missing word to its sentence. And I'll be back very soon. Let's review your answers together. Nathaniel likes to go to the water park, of course. He loves water activities. 
How about you? Do you like water activities? Do you like water parks? Have you ever been to Shfaim or Yamit al Paim? Have you ever been? That's fun. Let's look at this sentence here. He is lucky to have a water park near his house so he can ride his bike there. He doesn't have to ride a bus. He can just ride his bike to the park, to the water park. When he rides his bike, he always wears his helmet to keep him safe. I hope you have answered like I did. Now I'd like you to do a writing activity. Please write, did you ever go to an amusement park or a water park? Please write this in your notebook, of course. So number one is this. Did you ever go to an amusement park or a water park? Please write where you went. For example, I went to the water park called Shfaim, for example. When you went, who you went with, and what you did there. So there are several um, questions here. First of all, did you ever go to an amusement park or water park? So you can say, yes, I went uh, last year to a water park called Yamit al -Paim. Please write where you went. Yamit al -Paim, I think it's in Tel Aviv. When you went, last year I went to a uh, water park. Who you went with? I went with my friend um, Dana and my friend Joseph to the water park. And what you did there? At the water park, we, um, we, we swam in the fun pool. There, I think there is a pool that's with movement. And we uh, took these slides down and we had a picnic there. What did you do? Or if you went to an amusement park, I, um, I went on the roller coaster, for example, where you went, when you went, who you went with, and what you did there. So try to do this in your notebook, and I'll be back very soon. I hope you had a chance to answer these questions. I wanted you to write in your notebook to answer if you have ever been to an amusement park or a water park. And I wanted you to write where you went, when you went, who you went with, and what did you do there. I hope you had a chance. If not, you can always do it at the end of the lesson. So let's review what we did today. We started off by talking about the stages for learning new vocabulary, lesson, vocabulary words, exposure, practice, production, and review. These are the stages we went through today. 
The vocabulary words of today are park, ride, activity, and safe. We talked about the difference between the two rides, ride as a verb and ride as a noun. We matched the words to their synonym, ride, activity, and safe. We talked about amusement parks and water parks, and we also talked about the, a few rides here. I asked you what you, uh, what, you what you ate and what you drank at the water park or at the amusement park. And it's very important to be aware, be ready, and be safe at both parks. Be aware of what's happening, be ready, and be safe. Always listen to the instructions. Then we matched the missing uh, word to its sentence. And we engaged in a writing activity. So now you can read, understand, and use band two vocabulary words and expressions. And you can engage in creative assignments that include band two vocabulary words and expressions. So thank you very much for watching my lesson today called At the Park. My name is Rivka Rosenberg, and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.
Hi everyone, my name is Rivka Rosenberg. People call me Rivki. Today we will talk about animals and the vocabulary words are from Bantu. Let's begin. Can you read, understand and use Bantu vocabulary words and expressions? Can you engage in creative assignments that include Bantu vocabulary words and expressions? You will be able to do so by the end of this lesson. The new vocabulary words for today. North, Tzafon, for example, uh, Ramat Golan is in the north. South, Darom. Uh, Eilat is a city in the south of Israel. The sea, I love the Mediterranean Sea. It's blue, it's calm, it's beautiful. I love going to the beach, to the sea, to see the sea. In Tel Aviv, usually. But sometimes I go to Caesarea. There, that's the sea there is beautiful. Around, around my house there is a lot of green areas, parks, garden. That's around my house. In danger. When you play with fire, you are in danger. When you um, when you play with the dangerous animals like lions or tigers, that's put, putting yourself in danger. Climate. What's the climate in Israel? The climate is very warm, usually. Most of the year, it's very hot. That's the climate, the Mediterranean climate. Apart from. Apart from teaching you, I also uh, engage in sports. I also play tennis. Apart from teaching you, I also read a lot. Apart from. That's also and also. Milvad in Hebrew. Let's look at these words. Match the letter in the picture to the correct word. For example, where is the sea? What picture shows you climate? Where is sea with E-E? -E? We will talk about that. Let's see if you can do it. In danger. Which picture shows you in danger? So we have C, E-A, we have climate, C with E-E, -E, and in danger. Can you try to do this on your own? And I'll be back soon to look over this. Let's review your answers. C, E, A is of course, this is the sea, Mediterranean Sea. I'm sure you've been to the sea. Climate, which picture here shows climate? A klim. Of course, this one. So we have, um, this is the rainforest, that's a climate. We have the desert, the Negev, that's a different climate. Which picture here shows you C, E, E? Of course, it's this one. The woman is, can see with her binoculars. It's called binoculars. She can see with her binoculars. I don't need glasses to see, but when I read, I need glasses. In danger. Of course, this boy is playing with fire and he's putting himself in danger. Now, let's talk again about north, south, east, and west. North. In the north of uh, Israel, there is uh, Haifa. Northern cities are in the Ramat Golan. That's really north. So north, uh, for example, Ramat Golan is in the north of Israel. South. Which city do you know in the south? Eilat, of course. And the Negev, the desert is in the south. East. What's in the east? The Dead Sea. North, south, east and west. So east we have the Dead Sea, for example. And in the west of most of Israel is the Mediterranean Sea, west. So we have north, south, east, and west. 
You should know this. It's very, very important. North, south, east, and west. So in the north of Israel, we have Ramat Golan. We have uh, Haifa is in the north. In the south, we have Elat. In the east, we have the Dead Sea, for example. Um, in the west, we have the Mediterranean of Sea, of course. C-S-E-A, Mediterranean Sea. Let's look at these two words, C and C. We see with our eyes. See with our eyes. And here is um, a little trick to remember that we see with our eyes. Do you see in the word see, there are two E's that look the same. The E and the E are the same, so the eyes are the same. So that's a trick to remember. C-E-E. -E. Don't, re don't forget, see, two E's. That's you see with your two eyes. So you see with your eyes. And here, the boat is on the sea. Sea, like this, is yam. So this, of course, is to see lirot, and this is see yam. So now you know the trick also to not to forget it. The C, S-E-E, -E, is like the two E's are like your two eyes. Now let's match the word to its sentence. We have C, we have apart from, we have C with S-E-A, and climate. So this is one, two, three, four, and this is A, B, C, and D. Let's look at sentence A. In Israel, blank, going to the beach, you can also go to the desert. B, I love going to the zoo, to blank animals. C, the fish live in the blank. D, in Israel's blank, in the summer, it is very, very hot. Try to match the word to its sentence, and I will be back. Let's look at your answers together. In Israel, going to the beach, you can also go to the desert. So what words, what words fit here in Israel? Apart from going to the beach, you can also go to the desert. That means you can do this and do this, apart from. I love going to the zoo to see the animals. Of course, you remember the trick? EE -E, with your two eyes. I love going to the zoo to see the animals. The fish live in the, of course, the fish live in the sea. In Israel's climate, in the summer, it is very, very hot. So this is climate, a clim. Now, this is the North Pole, a kotevatsfoni, and this is the South Pole. This is the globe, the world. This is the North Pole, kotevatsfoni, and this is the South Pole. Just for you to know. Let's play a game. The game is called Who Am I? 
and you have to guess the animals. Let's see if you can do it. Here are the riddles, and you have to guess the animals. You have to tell me, who am I? I am big, I am strong, and I'm very, very fast. I live in the North Pole and in the South Pole. Bakotev Hatsfoni and in the South Pole. Bakotev Adromi. So who am I? I am... Let's see, are you ready? You got it, a bear. Bears live in the North Pole and in the South Pole. So they are big, strong, and fast. Are you ready for another riddle? Let's try. I like to swim everywhere, in the Kinneret and in the sea. Sometimes I walk around near the water. Who am I? What do you think? Are you ready? Ducks, of course. I like to swim everywhere, in the Kinneret and in the sea. Sometimes I walk around near the water. Are you ready for another riddle? I am a very big cat. When I am in danger, I roar. Let's hear, let's see who this is and then we can hear what a roar is. So, it's a very, very big cat. When I am in danger, besakana, I roar, roar, like that. Roar. Who am I? I am a... Are you ready? Lion, of course. Let's hear the lion's roar. And when the lion is in danger, he feels in danger, but Sakana, he roars, it roars, roar. That's the sound that you just heard. The lion, of course. You ready for another riddle? I like to jump and climb trees. I love eating nuts. Nuts are botnim. I live in a cold climate. So in, the, in Canada, in the United States, which animal is this? Who am I? Are you ready? Very cute animal, but a little dangerous. Squirrels, and these are nuts. So the squirrel likes to jump and climb trees and loves eating nuts. He lives in the cold climate, cold climate. Squirrel, we don't have squirrels in Israel, I think. One more riddle, are you ready? I am man's best friend, the best friend of a man or a woman, but that's the expression. I am man's best friend. Apart from helping people, I also love to play. This is an interesting animal. It's a very, very smart animal that also helps people in many, uh, many cases, in the fire department, people that can't see, blind people, but it's an animal that loves to play. Who am I? Are you ready? A dog, of course. So this dog is helping a blind person. So I am man's best friend. Apart from helping people, I also love to play. I hope you have enjoyed my little game here with the riddles. Let's try a quiz right now. So you have the words here of today, the words we talked about today. North, Tzafon, South. Darom, sea, S-E-A, yam, around, in danger, besakana, climate, and apart from. Here is a small text with missing words, and I'd like you to complete the missing words. So the text is as follows. The world is blank, from the blank pole to the blank pole. The blank is getting warmer. The blank is changing. Everybody from all blank the world must get together to save the world. Try to do this quiz and I'll be back very soon.
Let's review this together. The world is, what do you put here? The word is north? No. The world is south? No. The world is sea? No. The world is around? No. The world is in danger, of course. So let me write here in danger. Danger. From the blank pole to the blank pole. From the North Pole to the South Pole, of course. North to the South Pole. So the world is in danger. The something is changing. So what's changed? First of all, it's good to cross out the words that we did in danger. So we have the sea is changing. No. The around is changing. No. The climate is changing. Yes. So we write here the climate and we cross this out. Everybody from all blank the world, what's left here? Everybody from all see the world? No. Everybody from all around the world? Yes. But let's try maybe another option. Everybody from all apart from? No. Everybody from all around the world. So I hope you completed this as I did. The stages we learned today are exposure. We had a text with words and with pictures and a fun game. We practiced with a fun riddle game. We produced, we wrote, uh, we did several writing activities and now it's the re revision. Now you can read, understand and use band two vocabulary words and expressions and you can engage in creative assignments that include band two vocabulary words and expressions and expressions. So thank you very much for watching my lesson today about animals. My name is Rivka Rosenberg and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.